Today, we're gonna do a Red Rock review. All right, uh, today today I went and got picked up a couple a uh, couple items uh, for hiking the Pacific Coast Trail. Um, I've had a big okay. Whoop. Sorry. So I've had this great big Red Rock bag for a really long time, um, which it's it's awesome. I actually won it uh, at a raffle, and I really like it. Not real super keen on the color, uh, but it's pretty durable. Did have a problem with the uh, some of the the buckles. They didn't grab tight enough and they just fell off in an airplane somewhere. I have no idea where. So I bought some replacement ones from a sporting goods store here in town, Shields. Uh, the, the issue though is that Red Rocks customer service is not great. I, when I called and asked them to ship me some new, oh, there's a little bit of Velcro left from one of my morale patches. I asked them to ship me some more of these buckles and their answer was we don't sell them separately. We only sell the entire bag, which I thought was kind of weird. But so, so the problem that I have with this bag is it's way too big for just regular hiking like this is like a, a full day pack and stuff so i wanted something a little bit smaller really the only place that you can generally get that stuff is 511 and then you're paying a 511 premium price which is <sighs> garbage right i did some looking around uh found that uh fleet farm here in town actually is a, a red rock retailer so i was like well i know that i like the big pack but i hate carrying it around i get so so sweaty and gross and i smell like feet uh, so I don't want to carry that much pack on me when I'm just hiking. So I decided I was going to go the sling pack route, which is a little uh, higher speed, lower drag kind of thing. I'm not a tactical guy. I just like stuff so that I can get to it when I need it. So that's what I decided to go with one of these smaller guys. Single strap sling pack. It's got uh, a stabilizing strap along with it. But it's pretty slick because you can just pop this sucker right over there you go. All right. All of the Red Rock has the uh, the Molly retention system, so you can buy different accessories and things. It doesn't have to be Red Rock. But from what I've found surfing around on the Internet, looking at aftermarket Molly retention system stuff, is that sometimes they don't line up. So I've been trying to go as much as possible with the Red Rock stuff. So what do you need when you hike? You need a water bottle, right? So I went out and grabbed a water bottle retention with the Molly straps. So that I could get something to just throw on the side of this. Also, what's kind of handy is when you fly, uh, most airlines allow you a carry-on, and they also allow you a personal item, or as I like to call it, my purse, right? So the smaller sling packs can count as your personal item. Uh, so then that makes it a lot easier to carry things. Like, I, like my laptop, my 15-inch laptop, will actually fit in the Red Rock backpack but the problem is if i put my laptop and my cameras and my chargers and my lenses and all that stuff in the same bag it makes it so big it can't crush down to fit underneath the seat and i don't really love 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 putting it up in the overhead because that stuff shifts around and it might uh crush your very expensive shit in there so i've decided i'm keeping this sling pack because i really like it okay so we're gonna get the tags off there to make it a little bit easier to see what's going on Since this has the Molly system, I can set the water bottle holder up. We're going to wear this this way because it's also chest pack. So it makes everything super easy to get to. So what does this do? This tells us got the Molly system right here. I would like to throw my water bottle where I can get to it easily. But if you notice, this is a double strap. These Mollies are single strap Mollies. So unless I want it to slop all over the place, I'm probably going to have to put my water bottle on the front, which kind of sucks because I don't want to cover up my morale patch if I end up getting something with my name on it. But for right now, that's probably the best bet. I can also thread the mollies through up here if needed, but then it's going to sit way down and it's going to interfere with my zipper probably. So we're not going to put it there. 
I would rather just have it on the side. But then it means only one molly strap will be engaged. So let's look a little closer at this. If I put it lower, it'll sit it down low enough that I think we'll be okay. The whole reason I bought this bag was for the smaller size. But oh, oh, oh wait a minute. Nope, that is double molly there. I just, it just looked like it was single. Hot shit, Carl. Yep, yep, yep. We are good to gizzo. So if this is on this way, swing it around. Well, it's gonna be tight. Don't you dare. That's what she said. Whew. Thread that molly through very, very carefully. This is not good for a fat fingered guy like me. Title of your sex tape. What is happening right now? Gotta thread these through right next to each other. It's gonna be a little tight, but it's gonna work. I have faith. I think we're gonna skip the middle one. And go straight to the bottom one. <sighs> Stuff's gonna hold because if it's this hard to get in, I don't know how hard it is to get out. That's what she said. <laughs> a lot of your off-brand Molly fasteners, they complain that the buttons or the snaps are not super reliable. I don't think that's going to be a problem with these. Whew. All right, got them through there. Now we got to snap them. There's one. There's two. Now on that pack, we got ourselves a water bottle mount. Need a water bottle too, right? Why wouldn't you? Under Armour insulated wall, 24 ounce, I believe. I tried this at the store, so I know it fits. And she's in there. Put that down. It's got a neat little nifty locking deal here so you can't accidentally pop it open. But that's real handy if you ask me. Got it slung. Doing a little hikey hike. Have your retention clip here. Sucker ain't going nowhere on you, man. Ain't sliding around, ain't flying around. Now you decide, hey, I want this to be a chest bag. Boom. Just like that. It's a chest bag. Super easy. And it's got the release. It's actually on the back now. It's got a main buckle release too that you can use if you just need to get something off fast. So I really like this. Obviously, I'm not sponsored by Red Rock or anything. But what I found is you get, you got the functionality of the 511 without having to pay 511 prices. Because 511 stuff is marked up. You know, a bag like this, 511, you're probably looking at anywhere between $69.99 and $99.99. And that's just ridiculous. I mean, this bag is not very big. It's got very specific functionality. It's a great, like, just grab-and-go kind of bag for hiking. And I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. Bought this at Fleet Farm. This bag, actually, I ordered online. Uh, but I probably could have gotten it through Fleet Farm also. Really, guys, this is pretty slick. The only thing I don't like about the, the smaller, the sling pack, is a lot of Red Rocks stuff has molly uh, snaps on it so that I could molly it to, like, the bottom of... I think that's a uh, 32 liter bag. This is a nine liter. So I think you could molly it to that on a lot of them, but this, this one doesn't have this. It's got, if, if you're so inclined, conceal, carry. Right there, that's specifically what that's designed for. It's nice and soft inside there. A bunch of Velcro. I don't know what the hell you're gonna use all that Velcro for. Probably to hold a, maybe you got a Velcro holster. Put it right in there. It snaps to hold it closed. Got a few D-rings in a couple places to be handy dandy. But, like I said, I'm pretty happy with this. They're not a sponsor. Uh, the bag itself has sunglasses area. Flat area for like your wallet and things. Another multi-purpose bag area. You gotta do you have to be careful though, because some of the places are vented, so that water would be able to get in here. But you could put your wallet and stuff in there, and then obviously the um, overall large pocket. I believe they, they advertise that it will fit a smaller tablet. So you can get like an iPad or something in there and there's an iPad, like a tablet pocket. Ta-da. Pretty happy about this. Uh, I think it's gonna work perfect. We're hiking the portions of the Pacific Coast Trail in May. So the last time we hiked uh, Misery Ridge and Crater Lake, I was wearing that big bitch. I'm not exaggerating when I said I smelled like feet at the end of every night. It was just didn't breathe at all. It was so sweaty, way overkill. I maybe had one camera in it at the most. I only needed one camera, but I had like two cameras I was carrying all the time. It was way more than what I needed. That'll still go with me as my carry-on, but this will be my everyday 
carry while we're out there hiking and it's going to be pretty amazing. It'll never be more than a day's trek away from where we're staying. And then we can get other op options, you know, we can take my Peak Design camera clip, psh, put it on there, boom, got your camera hanging off you, you're good, you don't have to jam it in here. But the nice thing is, when I'm flying, look at that, camera's in there and it barely takes up any room at all. Water bottle on the outside so don't get some accidental leaky leaky. I'm pretty happy with this guys, it's not very often I make a, a purchase uh, on Amazon that I'm completely happy with. This is definitely going to be one of them this time. Only one camera going out on the trip this time. I don't see any reason to take the 6D. We're going to take that guy right there, the Canon R, and really start running it through some paces and see if we can uh, really, really use the higher technological advantages of that camera. I'll try to put some links to uh, Red Rock and to uh, Fleet Farm, uh, places you can get them. And I believe Fleet Farm ships everywhere in the United States. So um, if you don't have one in your area, it used to be called Mills Fleet Farm, but now it's just called Fleet Farm. Pretty cool place. All right. Deuces.